Welcome to PigChamp. This video is intended to give you an overview of all the unique reproductive features that PigChamp has to offer. The PigChamp program allows for data entry of reproductive and grow finish information while providing the extensive reporting functionality and detailed validation that you've come to expect. PigChamp offers multiple installations options depending on your environment. For those clients that wish to maintain an in-house option, we have PigChamp Enterprise version that can be installed locally. For clients who wish to have online access, we also offer PigChamp hosted in a safe and secure cloud environment, eliminating your need for maintenance and IT. We have updated our gestation validation as a user can now determine if they wish to have the program either provide a warning when a farrowing occurs outside their defined gestation range, or if you prefer to display an error that prevents the farrowing from being recorded and until it is resolved. PigChamp has done some extensive development regarding managing piglets and pedigree. For more details, please visit our YouTube channel and watch the Managing Your Piglets and Animal Pedigree video. With the introduction of the mobile app and future API logic, we've had to make some changes to the database related to the characters that can be used for animal identities and the items defined within the lookup item management. The following characters can no longer be used. For existing herds where these characters have been used, you will need to replace those references using the new maintenance tool feature. We have provided an easy way to find and replace any animal's identities, piglet identities, and lookup item details by all farms or individual farms quickly where any ineligible characters were used within the database. Please note this process must be done prior to using the new mobile app and any future API logic that becomes available. For those of you that record individual piglets for your genetic improvement purposes but wish to keep track and analyze those piglets within PigChamp, you can batch import those piglets from other managing systems directly into your PigChamp database. This easy to use import utilizes a CSV file to bring over specific details related to the piglets based on the sow identity and date of birth. Please note piglet identity is required. As an example, it can include sex, birth weight, various T counts, identifiers such as tattoo and transponder, color, and herd designation. Once imported, PigChamp has many features related to managing, monitoring, and analyzing those individual piglets with your herd. For those considering PigChamp, we are able to convert the majority of your sow history, which includes your individual piglet activity. For more information on individual piglet management, please view our individual piglet management YouTube video. Six additional optional data entry fields have been added to the semen purchase event as an expansion of some of our interfaces and analysis. Frozen semen, you're able to select yes or no. Pooled semen, you're able to select yes or no, but if added, it will be a required field. However, it defaults to no. Boar Tattoo or Boar Identity are two optional fields where you can associate the specific boar information with your batch identity. Depending on your genetics company, this may be a required field. Both fields are used for progeny and pedigree analysis. Date Collected is the date in which semen was collected, can be used for semen age analysis, but please continue to view this video for more information. Invoice Number When purchasing semen, you are able to trace back the purchase order. Age of Foster Logic. When the Nurse Halloween event was introduced, we included a unique data entry field that allowed you to record the age of those piglets being fostered on. Many of you asked that, that we add the same field to the piglet fostering event recording foster on, foster off, or cross foster. As an optional event, you can now record the age of the piglets when moving them from one sow to another. For the cross foster event, the foster age will autofill based on the date the source sow farrowed and the foster on event will automatically occur to the destination sow. The new age logic is included on the piglet loss analysis, data entry trace list, and the sow history. We have also updated the calculations for the following variables to reflect the accurate foster age. Average age of piglet loss, average piglet age, average piglet age at weaning. Please note the foster age will not impact the sow's lactation length. Reproductive loss report now includes all service types. We have expanded on one of our go-to reports when analyzing services and their outcomes. You are now able to analyze both repeat and first services when both individually or combined. The report enables you to define how to group the services for analysis from parity or cycle, previous lactation length, age and weight at first service, wean and arrival at first service interval, and recently introduced age of semen at service. 
For each service outcome, you can see the impact the result has on non-reproductive days and faring rates from the period defined. A new option has been added to the Pregnancy Checklist Properties tab. When selected, it will exclude any sows that have been aborted from the Pregnancy Checklist. As a reminder, do not forget you are also able to exclude any sow that has been marked for coal from the list as well. In the mating list report, you can now have the option to select not to have the data group based on a set of criteria. You may alter the group options using the Add or Modified Report tool. We've had multiple requests for analysis related to semen age and the impact it has on productivity. This analysis is available whether you purchase semen or collect semen directly on the farm. For those who purchase semen, we have expanded this event, adding a date collected field, which will be used for calculating semen age. The date collected field is an optional field, and if not recorded, the semen age calculation will default to the date delivered. You will now find semen age available on many of your favorite reports like the Service Performance Summary, Reproductive Loss Report, Cohort Services Analysis, and the Fairing Control Chart. For some of these reports, you can predefine your semen age to create a specific age and age categories under the user preferences to help focus your analysis, similar to other groups like the lactation length or age at first service. Through our comprehensive validation and accurate calculations, PigChamp eliminates the room for error and allowing you to make the best decisions for your reproductive or grow finish operation. If you're looking for a reliable data management program, PigChamp might just be the product you need. If you're interested, please contact our sales team and we can incorporate the PigChamp program to help you collect and report data whenever it's convenient. Let us know if you need any additional help or press the F1 key while in the PigChamp program to access the help files. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our support line, email our sales team, or visit our website.